Welcome to my latest bad report. It's Age of Sigma. It's tree people versus goblins. Squigs. Say hi, Mikey P. Hi. Say Mikey. hi, Jerome. Hi, Jerome. No, no. Hi, Jerome. We've screwed it up. What's going on? Tell people what's going on. We're playing a game. We're going to play a game. There's going to be some dice and some little plastic models. Yep. Who's playing the game? We, we are. are. And it's called Age of Sigma for those that don't know. Yes. So there's no exterminatus. Uh, yeah. No, uh, no, I don't think so. Right, this is the battlefield that I didn't set up for the game of I don't know. Because you did it wrong. Yeah. Well, no, you said trees. I put trees you down. Did, you put ruins down. You put like imperial buildings. No, I thought churchy. Churchy no, build. Anyway, so after we scrubbed the table that I beautifully set up, AOS terrain doesn't have as much terrain as 40k terrain. There's wide open spaces. What about line of sight blocking terrain? What about getting shot there's at no by gun. las cannons? There is guns. There's, well, there's bows. Yeah, but have you got bows? I've Sigma. got three bows. Right. Rocks to throw. Okay. And what game are we playing? Age of Sigma. No, what game? Tell the people. Play that... Open play Age of Sigma. Is yeah. there a mission type, open play, Age of you, Sigma? You roll for it. It's like Tempest of War, you roll on tables. When do we put the objectives down? In deployment. I In think. deployment? Yeah. So uh, that's the table that we've got set up. Yeah. It's what are the win conditions for everyone? Um, eat as many biscuits as you can. Okay, let's go and have a look at these armies. And the biscuits. Right, this is 1,500 points of trees. Trees, yes, that's uh, correct. Uh, tell us what you've got here. Yeah, lots of little trees. Um, there's trees with ghosts sticking out of them. Right. Um, there's slightly bigger trees. Yes. Um, there's a tree with a ghost sticking out of it with wings because it's got a bug on its back. Okay. And there's a bigger tree. Okay. And then there's some just trees. Are these like Imperial Knights? Are they tough and things? Um, it's a monster. It's right. a, that is, um, yeah, a tree lord ancient. Wall of Traits Relics? Is, um, is that a thing in this game? Yeah, they'll come up when they come up. Oh. And uh, command points? Uh, you start off with none. Uh, the other thing we tend to talk about is what this army does, what its chapter traits are, things the like... The trees. Brilliant. Let's go and have a look at the other army. Right, this is 1,500 points of not trees. I recognise these ones. It looks like goblins to me. They're squigs. Squigs? Yeah. Okay. So we've got some normal squigs with men who... Goblins who point at the squigs. Right. And then another. Right. And then we've got some goblins that are on squigs. Goblins on squigs. And a bigger goblin on a bigger squig. Right. And then two squigs on top of each other. And then some more... Squigs with goblins on, and some trolls. Some trolls? And then... A big rock. A big rock with a yellow moon on it. What's with the big rock and the trees in the background? What's that all about? You get terrain. You get it for free. Oh, okay. And warlord traits and relics and things? Yes. And let's go and deploy on... Yeah. And we're deployed for this... <clears throat> Do blooper reels. What? Do blooper reels. Or oh, I could just keep it in. Keep it in? Yeah. I mean, Perfect. We're deployed... Much you what? What? We're deployed for this 1,500 point game of the trees versus the squigs and we're playing loot and plunder. That's right. And the idea is this army needs to get there, that army needs to get there and there are three objectives, uh, chocolate covered hobnobs, other biscuits are, are, are available. Um, and if you eat all the three hobnobs, control the three objectives before the game ends, you win. That's the major victory. Right? There's major victories. That's right. Yeah. And Eat then, the otherwise, we go to the end of the game, which is game turn, and he who controls or eating most hobnobs by the end of the game actually uh, wins a minor victory. I think you're yeah. going to eat the most hobnobs, though. I'm going to eat... Well, you brought them round. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so what we've got here is Jerome has set up three uh, hobnobs along here with three unit. There's a big... Moon, which he's telling me that when units get wiped out, some of them can redeploy from the yeah, moon. Respawn, yeah. Can respawn. Big chunk happening here. And across the battlefield, there is the monster tree in the middle next to more trees that you put down. Yeah. And you've got another tree in your pocket that you yeah. can put down later on. I can sprout it up out of the battlefield. And there's teleportations going on. Yeah, they can like zip around about. Talking about teleport, te te teleport there, there, there is also two units in deep strike reserve. Oh, no. They're in ambush. In ambush, yes. They're ready to teleport in on this battle grid as well. You've ready got... to emerge from hiding. Right, okay. And then you've put... Uh, there's a hobnob, there's a hobnob, there's, there's a hobnob. A hobnob. Yeah. Um, do you roll off to see who goes first? We do, yeah. You do? Shall yeah. we grab a dice? Yeah. One minute what? You can have double turns in Sigma. Yeah, you roll for priority every battle round. That's... Why? Because it's fun. 
But that means you could get double turns, yes. so if you get really lucky, you could screw over your opponent. Yeah, or be screwed, yeah. And how it's funny is that then, getting like hit? Yeah, so. I mean, tactics don't come into it if you get double turned. No. Or, I mean, I'm sure some players will say it does. But... Sure. Right, roll dice, see what we get. Five. I like it. And you get a six. Ah. So does that mean you have to go first? Or you can choose? Okay. Yep. Um, Thanks, Winters. Trees win. Thank you for watching this AOS Battle Report. Happy Wargaming. Right, so Mikey P won the roll off. He's making Jerome go first. I think we need to mention that there are no twists. Twists yeah, are a thing. We rolled for it, and we rolled no twist. And okay, and then there's a moon in the sky. Not this moon, the rock moon, but the real Actual moon is in this quarter. Right. That's a bloom spike. And then that means that these guys move faster. They can run and charge you. But you only rolled a one. Yeah, and plus they're quite far away. Because Michael P is a tactical genius. Okay, so yes. So we'll continue with All the... Yeah. I'd never heard you called a tactical genius before. I've heard you being called a lot of things. Oh, many things. But that's not one of them. No. Continuing with the shooting phase. This thing... Um, Mo movement shooting phase. phase. Which, movement phase. Yes. There isn't a shooting Why phase. Why did really. this thing move over those things? Squigs can fly. They can fly? Where are their wings? They bounce. Uh, squigs can bounce. They bound. Uh, I'm told that this guy here is Moloch and this his guy. mob. Well, he, yeah, these are the mob. The, the, there's the mob with him. Yeah, it's, it's a squig that's a stalactite. Right. A squigchen. It's a bat. It's like a pigeon squig. It's a pigeon squig. And then a mushroomy squig. Right. The, are these mushrooms magic? Uh, they do stuff. Right. And things. Are and things about to get trippy? Uh, not yet. And here we are after the uh, the movement phase. Everything comes charging forward, and now we're on to the psychic phase. Shooting, no, shooting. No psychic. There what? Is no psychic phase. Why is there no psychic phase? You get the hero phase, which is like a combination of the command phase and the psychic phase. When does that happen? Before movement. Has it happened? Yes. What happened? What did you do? You forgot to do it, didn't you? I just didn't. There's nothing I need to do. It's heroes are good, but they're not that important for my list. Right. You can cast spells and shit, but. Mm, you said a boo boo. Who? You spells? Said, you said shit. I said spells. Shall we go into the shoot? Oh, is spells. there is there shoot? You I do have spells. Right. Shooting. They throw rocks. Okay. But only twelve inches. So. So is that the end of the shooting phase? Yeah. Yeah. What about the charge phase? Is oh, there a no. charge phase? No. Is there an anything else phase? This is a long winded way of saying it's my turn now. End of squigs. Turn one. Before we go into the tree phase, a couple of things. Um, some of the this one, this one, and this one is overgrown. That's oh. a thing that we you do. I do that. Yes. So okay. The second thing is hero phase. There's a spell happening where you want to set up some more trees. Yes. Yeah. Casting. This it. guy's going to cast things. Right. So, um, verdant blessings. Right. And uh, he's a six to, to make a tree grow. Okay. Psychic phase. Oh, hero phase. Uh, right. That's not a six. No, it's not. You do have command points and things. Yes. Oh, re There's no rerolls. Isn't there? No. Right, that was a bust. Then at the end of the tree's movement phase, it looks like this. They're moving forward everywhere, um, setting up a perfect counter charge from all the squigs, as far as I can see. Yep. Um, and then this one went through a teleportation the device. Song relevant. Re through relevant. there to the and overgrown then, thing. Went into the awakened wildwood and then he appeared out of the overgrown Into the feature. awakened what? What? Awakened wildwood. Cool. Is there a shooting phase? Yeah. Let's do that. Okay. In the shoot phase, we have trees with las cannons or something. Shoot oh, at some bows. Trolls. Big bows. Shoot at trolls. Do you know trolls. what a bow is, Winters? Uh, it's a beer. Or oh, something that you tie on your shirt. Okay. Yeah? We'll go with that. The yeah. thing yeah. like... Yeah, so he's going to throw bow ties at me. Throw bow ties. Here we Hitting go. Hitting on... Fours. Okay. Uh, That's four hits. Yeah, and winning on threes. Yeah. Because las cannons are strength nine and no. trolls are... There's no strength and toughness. No. What? You have wound... Four hits, AP minus one, two damage. One rend, yep. So I have a five up save. Right. Ooh. You don't make any. What yep. does that mean? Eight damage. Are they all dead? No. Got to feel no pain, apparently. It's a ward save. Right. On a five. So you save two of them. So that's six damage. Yep. Uh, how many wounds do they have each? Four. So a last cannon took out one of those trolls. Well, I suppose. And uh, one's on two wounds remaining. Is there any more shoots? No. Nope. Now we're going to charge. Is there charges? I can't see uh, charges. One, I can try. Okay. So you're going to try and charge over here? Yeah, with these guys. That's one hell of a charge. Good it's luck. Charge. Yeah. Uh, 2d6? Yeah, be within right. three inches. It'll be within three. So I'm going to okay. charge Okay. Uh, that's a five. That's I enough. don't think you'll get within three. No surge moves either. We're going to mix Horus Surge heresy. moves, Horus Heresy, surge heresy in two. <laughs> no, no surges. So now it's your turn too? No. 
Oh. We roll for priority. God we damn do. it. Let's do it. Right, priority. Five. Um, that's a six. That's it? not a six. That's I'm definitely a, it. Is it? It's well, a six. I'd say it would be six. If it you looks want like it, a six to me. It looks like a six to me. It's three people turn. I rolled a six to two. two. What do you mean command points reset? They reset at the end of each battle round. round. What crazy, crazy shenanigans is this? It's it's crazy. Crazy. Surely that's just more to keep track of. Yeah. Or is it less to keep track of? It's less because it's the same every battle round. Is it? Yeah. Okay. Well, sort of. Tell the people what's happening. So, in the battle round, the moon can move. So, what? on a one, two, three, the moon stays in this How quarter. How fast is that moon? It's I mean, a moon. night time would be here yeah. for hours. No, moon. Moon. So, four up, it moves to the middle, which is good for me. Yes. It moves to the middle. So, everyone is affected. What do you mean it moves to the middle? The moon. Yes. Obviously, is now here. Can you not see it? It's uh, in the middle of the board. Right. Affecting everyone. What about which that means moon? My trolls have better saves. Right. And my squigs can run and charge. Use your imagination. But that's a really quick moon. I can try and also, it occurs to me that the moon, may, maybe it moves back again. No. Maybe there's more than one moon. No, no it's, it's a bad just, moon. It's it a, goes from one side to the other. Bad why moon. does it have to be a bad moon? Why can't it be a good moon? Bad moon. Hey. One minute, before you move any of them, Jerome's actually been checking rules. And that ambush, deep strike stuff, oh, yeah. apparently it happens before the game begins. So there is no board teleportation. You need to put your units in ambush. Yeah. Uh, so, shall we do that now Let's in that now. turn two? Yeah. It's a good job that one of us is keeping track of what's going on over here. Uh, so, off secretly. Squids, squigs are coming in here. And uh, large tree people are coming in over there. Small tree people. The moon has moved. The trolls are now space marines with a three up save. Is there a hero thing? Shouldn't we have a hero phase? I'm, I'm, yes. When does that happen? Before I move my big tree, which I shouldn't have moved. Yes. So, let's do the hero phase. In the hero phase, which is a thing, there are heroes which get to do things. Yes. So what are the things that the heroes are doing? Their finest... Their some, finest hour. That's the one. In the hero phase, Mikey's chosen to do it. I get to choose one. So I'm also doing their finest hour on one of them. So Mushroom Guy plus... What does it do? Plus one save. Yeah. Plus one to win rolls. And that one. Yeah. Both okay. The and then we have a psychic phase. No. We have a psychic Still spell the in phase. the hero phase. Yeah. Right. What are, you doing, what are you doing now? Um, I'm going to do some spells. So he's going to do Mystic Shield on himself. Okay. Plus one save. Okay. Uh, which doesn't go off. Right. No, it does, because he gets plus five. one. It's on a five anyway. Oh, he gets plus one as does well. Does he so. have any more powers and things? He does. I'm going to try and make a tree appear. He's blowing a massive horn. Doot, doot. Okay, let's try and make a tree appear. Okay. There's plenty of trees already. Yeah. yeah. One window. would see yeah. why you would need All some more trees. So All there's good. a tree. going to make a tree appear. Uh... Do we take one of these trees? No, no, I've got a tree over here. Brilliant. Okay. And the aftershot. Won't stack. Mm. So. Right. Bob knobs. Mm. What? What the fuck? The hob knob on the table, I had it. Okay. Right, here we are almost at the end of the movement phase. The ambushing thing is going after the big double squig. Mangler squig. That has fly. It seems like a bad idea to me. It um, is, but, loads yeah. of stuff moving up the middle of the table over here, but mm -hmm. because you made a tree appear, you can use the teleportarium again and disappear from it. These guys aren't next to trees. Can they just appear from trees? It's this one because it's overgrown. Right. So they've got to be wholly within nine, which I've measured. They just about are. Okay. Because it's quite a big terrain feature, actually. Right. And they go into it and then they can appear within nine of another one. But there's trolls there, that's danger. More than three away. Danger Will Robinson trolls. Yeah, but there's enough dryads that they'll kill them. And after the movement, it looks like this. Trixie trees have sprouted out of the ground around this trees. There's, they're telling me there's some reactions that Jerome could do, but he doesn't want to do them. But more importantly, he leaves this hobnob mm. undefended in this quarter of the battle grid. Now, Just found them, we go, you found um, another tree person. Cheating. They are so tricksy. Now we're going on to the shusting phase. Legolas and his mates are firing their Volkite heavy charges again. One more time at the trolls again. How many All mixes? kind of wrong. Okay, uh, and now you're hitting on what now? Kernoff hunters, hitting on fours, wounding on twos because they're close to the uh, tree revenant. Right. No. Arch, arch revenant. You were doing so well, and it was like you knew everywhere. what you were talking about for yeah. a moment. God it, damn. Force to hit. Uh, yeah, force. Okay. And. No reroll once because he's not a captain. Right. Plus one to wound or so no? Three. Twos. Oh, twos. Okay. 
So that's many four. wounds. At minus one. Yeah, so but, I've got a four up save now. Okay. Fours? Uh, you fail one of them. I do. So it's two damage. Yeah. And I have a five up ward so save. So no pain. Ward save. And you so feel the pain damage. once. Yeah. He's down to one wound remaining. Um, big Tree Man of Doom has got an 18 inch range. Doom and Tendril Staff! That or Heavy Flamer. One minute, then we just discovered that trolls regenerate at the start of the hero phase. So I guess in Mikey P's hero phase they can regenerate. What do you need to regenerate? I need to find out. Okay. D3 regeneration. No, you can't do it. It's cheating. Okay, so that's uh, th two more back on. So that yeah. one's back up to three wounds. Yeah. Now we're going to do the heavy flamer. At Doom Tendril Staff. So okay. uh, it's this guy shooting the trolls. Yep. Um, and it's uh, twos. Right. And then it's threes to wound. One wound. Rend one, damage three. Okay, so four up, save again. Oh, damage three. Feel no pains. Feels the pains you kill a troll. Even though he regenerated. So the troll gets set on fire by the flamer, screams and drops the rock on no, his head and crushes staff. into like the, the, the I was There's mid no flow there. In the charge phase, these trees just step forward. They basically couldn't fail against the massive squigs here. Where else are we going? These guys. Right, okay. They're so, going to charge both of them. So you things. have to get within three, right? So even on snake eyes, you'll get there. I mean, I mean, that's I eight mean. inches. Does it matter for. Because it's three here, inches coherency in Sigma. Depends that, on how what the range of my weapons is. Yeah, yeah you and do then. You have to be quite specific. I thought I knew a Sigma rule there. Someone you, told me it's all it, about three inches it coherency. Is, yeah. It is. But so you're in engagement range at three inches, not board one now. Inch. Flat three. They both do flat three. So. Mm. You know what, you're going to say you're bored again, so I'm not going to explain it. <laughs> At the end of the charge phase, the tree people charge the Mr. Potato Head and well, the guy with the rock troll. over here. These guys have charged over here. Charging models get to fight first. No, no. you don't. Oh, God. I pick one. So, one minute. So, if you don't pick here, all those guys are going to get smushed there. And do, if you do pick do there, friends. then all these guys are going to get smushed here. Correct. So, you should really just charge one unit at a time there. Shush. Go back to 40k, asshole. <laughs> so we're starting the fight phase over here with these fellas hitting the giant squigs. What are they called? Tree Revenants. Like Leonardo DiCaprio? Um, yeah, but trees. Okay. Leonardo DiCaprio is hitting the giant squigs and yeah. dice and things? Yes, that's right. Yeah, dice. Take it away, Mikey P. Will do. Uh, let's do it with the champion first. He has slightly different weapons. It's two okay. damage. He hits on threes okay. and then he also wins on threes. So it's you've all... done all that attack on yourself? I've done all that attack, yes, to give right. me plus one attack. Was that a stratagem or something? Sorry. Yeah, sort of. Okay. Uh, one wound at minus one. Okay, so that's a five. AP minus one. Uh, one rent. Two one rent. damage. Five up. Okay. Two damage. Two damage. Two Master damage. crafted power sword cuts a couple of wounds into the giant squigs of it's doom. A well done, glaive. I think. Anyway, Leo, yeah, and now enchanted weaponry. Uh, enchanted threes. weaponry. Leonardo DiCaprio swings his things and threes again. Three, even though it's this big and tough, surely yeah. it's like fours no, or fives or sixes. Four no. at minus one. Okay, AP minus one. One rent. Yeah, fives. So two more. Are they one damage each? Yeah. So how many wounds does it take? Four wounds. There's ten wounds left. Has he? Starts off with 14, 14 wounds. wounds. Didn't tell me that. Wow, that's like a tonk. Awesome. Then after this combat, we come over here. Now, when you say you pick now, is this two different units? Yes. Yep. So you pick one or t'other. Yes. And you're doing some finest hour things, yes, so stratagems. Their finest hour right. on Molog. And then yeah. I'm doing all out attack on Molog. So um, he has plus one to hit and plus one to wound. Mr. Magic Mushrooms, here yes, we go. So he so, has three attacks. Does he get plus one on the shock assault for getting charged or anything? No? Okay. What does he hit on twos? Hits on twos. Uh, he hits twice. And then he wounds on twos anyway. He wounds once. Oh man, three damage, two rend. Uh, no save. So three dead trees. But that's three damage, that should kill a tree. No, it does. It spills over. Does it? Yeah. Like mortal wounds? Yeah. Yeah, sure. Kinda. What this, about the little fellas? Do they help the out? The spite shroom right. can make them minus one to hit. The bad guys? Five up. Yeah. Uh, no. Good. So he killed three guys. Now the trees get to fight back. That's right. Yeah. And they have a two inch reach or yes. something. Correct. So two ranks. these ones are, that are more than two inches away are not fighting. Correct. Are you putting all your attacks into the troll or do you have to? Can you put everything? You no, know, I do it by range. So yeah. these guys will be on Moloch. Those yeah, guys will be yeah. on the troll. Okay, that actually makes sense. 
So 11 attacks are going into the HQ type guy, Moloch. Well, 11 Moloch. dudes with 22 attacks. 22 attacks. These are called dryads? They're dryads. So ads that are dry, like AAA or something. That's it. Okay. Yeah. They, they hit on... They would be hit on fours, but it's fives, isn't it? Because you did minus one to hit. Was no, it, it didn't go off. Oh, it didn't yeah. go off. Oh, so it's four. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And Moloch is wounded on fours. fours. Yeah. Moloch needs to make eight three-up saves, oh, and Jesus. he fails four of them. How many wounds has he got? He has eight, but he also has a four-up ward save. Uh, feel no pain? He doesn't feel the pain at all. Rude. He tanks it. Now we have the rest of the dry advertisements hitting the troll. And they have 16 attacks, these eight fellas. At fours! And they're wounding on fours. Five three-up saves coming up with the feeling of the pain. And the troll is okay as well. Those ads were so dry, their sticks just broke over the monstrous hives of the troll and the guy with the mushroom on his head. He's also a troll. He's also a troll. Troll drops a rock? Yes. Down on the dry, sticky men? Yes. Okay. Um, how many hits is that? I think it's one. It's on threes, apparently. Two. Wounds on... Threes? Why? He's a massive troll with a big... He should be wounding exactly. those sticks on twos. And they're three damage each, so that's six dead droids. Wow. No, what's the rend? Two. Oh. From that combat, back to the giant swigs, hitting Leonardo DiCaprio. Four attacks? Yeah, four attacks hitting on threes at the okay. moment. Everything hits. And then wounding on threes as well. Right. Only two wounds. That. They need sixes to save. You make save one, one six, how much damage is that? Four. Four damage. Yeah. Leo has two wounds, so two of them fall over, but there's more. Yep, yeah, this is the balls and chains, so right. seven attacks hitting on threes. Okay. Oh, that's a lot of sixes. Look at that, five sixes. And then wounding on threes. And that is two AP. So oh. no save? Yep, and no these are D3 save. each. Oh. They're dead. Um, Maybe not. No, they're dead. Yeah, they're, dead. they're dead. I mean, they look cool. The Revenants have got their Oscar. He ate his raw liver. Did you hear that? He ate yeah. raw liver for that thing. I mean, he is an actor, right? He so he could anything. act at eating raw liver. He'll do anything to get an Oscar. Well, he's got it now. I yeah. really hated that film. What? The I Revenant? Out the, Revenant. the bear attack was awesome. What was wrong with it? It's so boring. Oh, he won an Oscar for saying like three today, words through the, the whole film. The youth of today. He no ate attention raw liver. Spell. And it's uh, supposed to be a period piece and thinky and stuff like... Do you think Blade Runner is good? The first Blade Runner. Should we go watch it? You probably think that's... i you afterwards. You haven't seen it? No. <gasps> he doesn't know how. No, I watch Wars. cartoons and... Aliens? YouTubes. You've seen Aliens. I know what an alien is. The Matrix, the OG Matrix. Numbers. And... I don't even know why I play with you. Now there's something called Battleshock, which sounds like morale. It is morale. The right. Dryads need a morale thing. I rolled a d6. Right. And it's a five. And you add the nine that you lost or which something? Is 14. Okay. Yeah. And then I take off their bravery, which is six. Yes. Which leaves eight. That's eight mathematics. Run away. So eight, eight runaway. Quick maths. Okay. Uh... That seems a bit more painful than, is yes. that 40k? So at the end of Tree People's turn two, uh, there was a charge in here with Leonardo DiCaprio, he's dead, and there was a charge in over here with the Dryads, and they did no wounds as well, and they lost a chunk as well. So it isn't going very well for the trees. No. Um, we are in a climate crisis, and now the uh, little goblins of doom on their squigs are going to come rampaging forward and burn this forest down. In Squig Riders of Doom, whatever they're called, turn two. Before we start moving things, you just said something about the moon again. Yeah, so because the moon's in the middle, yes. I can run and charge with my squigs, and they're going to hurt. But in his turn, it, al it already hurt him. Yes. yes. In your turn, will it hurt more, as well as running? By quite a considerable margin, yeah. Oh, this should be fun. I approve of uh, rules like this. Look, boing, smash. Yeah. Boing, boing, boing. Those yeah. are great rules. Yeah. And at the end of the squiggy phase, it looks like this. These guys running away from that hobnob, trying to get to this hobnob. There was some advancing in the middle, but you can charge now. Uh, and the trees are surrounded. Over here, is he your HQ? Who's this fella with the big toe next to me? Heroes, yeah, but he's the leader. He's This one over General. here is the leader. Yeah, and he's going to go in against the monster tree. I think so. Okay. Well, I'm excited to see that happen. Over here, the trolls and the dry advertisements are still in combat. Is there no fall back and charge? You can fall back and then charge in, get your bonuses, attacks or anything? No. Nope. No. And then we have a squig swarm. Some over here are right next to this hobnob. Some oh. over here are being ridden by goblins, and they're going to come in this way. It looks like the trees are surrounded. This is fine. 
hero phase. Both of the heroes are buffed again with our finest hour. These yeah. two fellas here. Now we're on to the shooting phase. There's a yep. troll with a rock in close combat. Yeah, so first I'm going to do the Jabber Toad what? with Rolog. Well, Obviously, right. it's the Toad. The Toad? Yeah. His hand. So he hits toad. on a four. He misses. Cool. And then the Troll's going to throw a rock. So on a four up, they suffer one more to wound and plus one to the dice roll if there's more than five rolls in the unit. So on a three up, one more wound. So one dead dryad. Oh. That's the end of the shooting phase. There's no more orbital bombardments, grenades, last cannons, things like that. We have some charges coming on, so yes. um, we're going to be charging here into what now? The big one or the tree lord ancient? Or the oh yeah, no. ooh, right. roll. you roll and then pick. Yeah, it's really. Crazy. Uh, what do they get? Five. They got a five. Yeah, so I'm going to go this way towards the. So they're going to go that way. Yeah. Okay. Outside of three inches of him. Okay. Uh, then the Boing Grot Banders. Boing Grot Banders, they rolled a... Eight. They rolled so an eight. they charge into him. Are they slowed by terrain? No. They oh, fly. they flop. Yes, we remembered they have wings, yeah. Okay. And that guy... He got an eight. He goes yeah. eight. He's probably going we, we, to... We'll decide it. They're two eights. Right. This is going to charge. The Toad and the Gob... Right, that was Let's a six. A That's now an eight, because Jerome decided to pick up a non-cop yeah, dice and re-roll it. At this stage, I it doesn't one inch. <laughs> I only need it one inch, all right? Sometimes an inch is all you need. Just one inch. Right. All right, and then over here. Okay. And they, four. And they go four. We'll be within. Do you have to get in base to base? Uh, I don't think so. Let's okay, get within well. engagement range to be in engagement range. Which is three. Range, which is three. And right. then we have to be on range to hit. Which is then the range Whatever of weapons is. have a thing. Exactly. Yeah. Right. At the end of the charge phase, the Mangler Squigs get into Legolas and the Bowman. These are pretty cool looking models, Colonel to Thomas. be fair. Uh, yeah. You've got the Hoppy guys into the Giant Thomas. Tree Man. We're going to have some HQ on HQ action. Yep. Yeah. What are they called? That is a Loon Boss on Giant Cave Squig. Lo a Loon Boss? Loon Boss on a Giant Cave Squig. Okay, I love it. Warsong Revenant. Uh, Leonardo DiCaprio's twin, and over here are the more revenants. Yes, yeah, true revenants. Leonardo so DiCaprio's triplets. Charge. Failed charge here. There was a failed charge. Uh, Leonardo DiCaprio's pitch. illegitimate children. Yeah. So in the fight phase, because we're on the fight phase, is it charging models go first, or could it's you pick over pick. here? You could just pick Everyone anywhere. Gets to pick. So you pick one, and then Mikey P picks one, That's and then right. it goes. So picking who goes first is part of the top tactics for yes. playing we do Age of Sigma. Stuff to do as well. There's what? what? Monst monsters get to stomp and things like that. Okay, when does that happen? Uh, at the end of the charge phase. Plus my squigs do more stuff. Oh. Mangler squigs do mortal wounds potentially when they yep, go charging so in. You need fours. Yep, so one mortal wound. That is a mortal wound. From them to the Boing Grot Bounders, there are five within an inch of the big tree man, so you roll five dice. Yep, fours. And Two more mortal wounds. Okay. And Big Tree Man doesn't have a Matt Ward save, so he's down to 12 wounds remaining. Matt Ward is a very niche reference. Deep cut, right? Mm. Yeah, man. Not a good one, though. I thought it was a good one. Mm. Well, I, I was pleased with myself. Well, that's true. So we've got some monstrous rampages. There's these boing guys over here on the trees. You yep. need a what? So a stomp, so it's a two up. Yes. And then they suffer D3 mortal okay. wounds. Okay. And so that's two, two mortal wounds. wounds. Two mortal wounds. Then Big Tree Man has a monstrous thing. Yeah, it does ground shake. Huh? Right. So that will make these guys fight last. Uh, three up. Yay. Okay. That may have just saved your bacon. Mm, maybe. So we're starting the fight phase between the Giant Revenant and the Loon Boss on water. Well, so no, no, that's all wrong. <laughs> all wrong. <laughs> See, these this two... is not the first take. One minute. What are they called again? War Song Revenant. Yes. Loon Boss on Giant Cave Squig. Right. So we're starting the five A's between the War Boss Revenant no. and the Loon Boss. No, Loon Boss on Giant Cave Squeak and War Song Revenant. How hard could it be? So we're starting the five A's between the Loon Boss on Giant War Squig, Cave Squig. and the War Song Revenant. Yeah, that'll close. Do, that'll do, pig. That'll do. Name that movie. You've seen that movie. Which one? That'll do, pig. That'll oh, do. Yeah, yeah, it's that one about the the um, Charlotte. Wait. Yeah, well... No, Bane. <laughs> Giant Squig boss going first. Yep, so he's going to use his Moon Cutter. Right. Five attacks. Yes. Hitting on trees. Okay. It does hit <laughs> on trees. trees. And then wounds on twos. Because of the plus one to wound, because yes. of your special thing. Everything wounds. charged, it's two rend and two damage each. What is rend? 
AP. Okay, why don't they call it AP? Because it's a different game. It's armor penetration, trying to penetrate the armor. Yeah, but they don't have armor, they're trees. What do you mean they don't have armor? Bretonians have armor, yeah, dwarves but Bretonians have aren't armor. Yeah, dwarves aren't Bretonians thing. are definitely a thing, Do I've got you? some. Yeah, so um, that takes away all my armor, but I do have a four up ward save. I have to do that against the damage. So Invulnerable save? Yeah, four up, fail no pain. If right. That's what you want. So you only take four wounds? I take four wounds. He has seven to start off with. He's got three still got a squig remaining. Go. What, the squig fights as well? Yeah. Nom, 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 nom. Squig eats out. Eats, noms, away, on fives? Fours. Fours. Threes. Yes. Fours. Ooh. Only one hit. He's not that hungry. And then it's twos to wound. It wounds. Damage. One round. One round, D3 damage. Can you just say so six up save? Six up save. Nope. Isn't there a Two ward damage. save? Don't you get your feel no pain? Yep. Yep. No. Four up. Ooh, takes one. Down to two wounds remaining. Two wounds remaining. And now, now the three people get to fight back. Now, these guys are going last, right? Yeah. So you don't have to pick there yet. Nope. We know how this is going to go. Yep. Badly. Badly, badly. So you might as well go there with the tree people of doom. The Legolas. Legolas and friends. Yeah. So now we're doing Kurnoth Hunters against the Mangler Squigs. You got that one right. It was easier. That was actually was. genuinely the first take as well. I, I know. I, I, I Sometimes I surprise myself. Mm. Normally when I look in the mirror. Uh, attacks. Threes. Okay. And it's threes again. So the that toughness of the enemy doesn't even mean a thing Meaning in this game. Meaningless. So that's four wounds. Four wounds. AP. None. Right. Four up saves. Okay. Uh, you met every single save, you're right. And that's Next. how this game is going. And now we're on to the squiddies fighting back. Moloch. Moloch. So three attacks, hitting on threes. Okay, Moloch fighting. And then wounding on twos, I think. Both That's really cocked. Okay. Ooh. One wound. D3 damage. Sorry, right. three damage. Three damage. Three that damage. That kills just three of them, right? We established that. Yeah. Uh, next up, you can fight with your... You don't need, still need... Don't, I get to mm. choose. Right. So yeah, going with the Dryads next. Six of them, so 12 attacks are going to hit the Troll. And four of them, eight attacks are going to hit Mr. Mushroom Head. Forced to hit the troll. And forced to wound the troll, causing three wounds. Three up saves. Troll takes a wound. Five up ward. Yeah, takes a wound. Eight attacks strike out at Mushroom Man. And only four of them hit. And these are forced to wound as well. They are. And two of them wound. Perfectly statistically average. Threes. And he takes a wound. Fours. And yep, he takes, takes a wound. wound. Yes. So this time the Dryads actually did something and put a wound each on the enemy they're fighting. Now we're fighting back here with the loon boss with this giant cave squig there, fighting back against the dryads, yep, hitting so the on... the going to go first with oh. five attacks hit on fours. Right, two hits. And then wounding on threes. A One wound. wound. Six up saves. Six up. Four yeah! Wounds. And then... Four attacks from the boss himself. Fours. He hits twice. And he has threes. only a little goblin. And oh. he doesn't wound. Yay! Yeah. Are we going to keep going with this? We're going to go with the troll. There is some, I mean, it should go backwards and forwards, but it doesn't change the shape of the battle because he, they're fighting last. He, yes. Yeah, so we're going to go, we're going to tidy up this combat first. Here's the troll. The troll hits on. A three. It hits three times. And wounds. Three times? Yep. At minus two, three damage each. He knocks out a chunk of them, leaving one tree guy left. And at the end of the combat, it looks like this. So now we're coming back over here for the revenge. Of the Ent people. The Warsong Revenant is hitting back the Moon Pig on Giant Squig. Yep, it's going to use a Spearing Vines. Right. First. So five attacks. Yes. Uh, hitting on threes. You miss four times, Mikey Pig. <sighs> Wounding on threes. Uh, at least you wound. Yay! Minus one, two damage. He has a five up save now. Okay. Moon Pig takes uh, two damage. He's on six wounds remaining. But the Revenant has more attacks. Yeah, three attacks with the Spirit Falchion. Right. Uh, fours and fours. Oh, you only hit once again. But Good. you won't. Minus one, one damage. Five up. Oh. Make the save. Next up, Tree Beard Ancient against Boing Boing Squigs of Doom. Yes, that's right. My Tree Lord Ancient is going to use his massive impaling talons. Is it massive? It's huge. Do they impale? Uh, two attacks hit on twos. Right. Um, and then they wound on twos. There we go. Tree Beard's AP is minus two, so the Boingy dies. The Boing, they need sixes. Uh, you make a six. Aww. And that's three damage. Three damage. 
They have two wounds, so one falls over, one takes a wound. Now we have some sweeping blows coming from Treebeard. Yeah, five attacks, hit on threes. Three, uh, four hits there. Wounding on threes. Uh, three wounds there, AP. One. Three five up saves, and you make one of those saves. Two damage. That wipes out two more, so Treebeard takes out three of those little guys down there and actually does some damage back to the squigs. Uh, I think we're on to the Mangler Space Hoppers now. Attacking Legolas. This space hopper is jumping on top of that space hopper. Space hoppers hit on threes. And Ooh. everything hits. Your dice rolling has been hot today. Threes to wound and three of them wound. One rend. Four up saves. Yes. You don't make any. Your dice rolling has been terrible. Yes. This is D6 damage each. D6 no. damage each. Are you looking at 13 damage there? That's a lot of damage. There's only 12 wounds left. I think. In that. Unit, the space hoppers each. go bouncing over Legolas and crush him into oblivion. Now the last thing left to fight is the baby squeaks, the boy grot bounders. Many attacks on the charge. And they hit on fours. Fours. Their fang field gobs will wound on fours. Threes. Threes. Treebeard needs nine. Nine! Four up saves. And that was just the squigs nibbling at his trouser legs. Now all the uh, gobbos get to fight with their lances. And they hit on fours. And they wound on threes. Now because you charged, you said something kicks in, because there's five wounds. It's two rend and two damage. Because you charged. Because I charged. Nice, okay. So we have five saves to make of something. Five ups. Okay. Uh, you pass two of them. That is six damage. He doesn't have any wards and things like that, so Treebeard is down to three wounds remaining. And that is the end of the fight phase for Goblins in Wait, turn two. What? Not yet. Yes. I've got a backstabber's blade. What's that? Oh. It's a once per battle shank. You're going to stab him in the back? Yeah, so it's on a two up. That's very it's goblin. D6. Who's doing wounds. it? Where are we? This Aww. guy. On this guy with two wounds left. On, on, the, guy, on the Revenant guy? It's yes. D6. Well, you could up. kill him. So that's, it goes off and then D6. Unmitigatable wounds. Hate you! D6, so it ignores invulnerable saves. Yeah. You have that problem in AOS as well. And the revenant guy with his massive horn gets stabbed in the back and dies. Then we did some battle shock. There's a single dryad over here. And he, he breaks up into kindling and firewood. And um, the squigs have taken the field. All the tree men have left is giant tree beard. I don't know who this is with the wings. Arch revenant. Arch Revenant. Haven't seen. Oh God. Oh dear. Uh, we have Leonardo <laughs> DiCaprio's ones over here. But more importantly, you've taken this objective here. I love it. I, I love you a little bit right now. Let's see if you can <laughs> do it with the second one. You're going to do it the second. You've taken this objective as well. <laughs> Get that down your neck, son. Get the fluff off it. <laughs> <laughs> Someone is having oh, a oh, very oh. happy time watching this. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> no, I'm just, I'm just going to keep this. <laughs> what? Uh, are you pleased you're not winning right about now? Uh, I mean, it has upsides. Did you... Uh... It's a spit some out. <laughs> <laughs> this was magnetised on, right? Yeah, yeah. So we're okay, we're good. When he takes a certain amount of wounds, the, the bug on his back dies and he can't fly anymore. Does it? Really? Yeah. That's the thing. That yeah, comes yeah. off and he can't fly anymore. Yeah. Uh, Winter's SEO approves of this message. As Excellent. we go into Tree Peoples of Doom, turn three. No, what? Priority roll first, isn't it? We've got to find out whose turn Just, it is. This is a ridiculous rule. Yeah, it's uh, me. It it's me. Tree People of Doom's turn three. Right. It's, his, it's his finest hour. It's his finest. So his finest hour again, start of the hero phase, you get to pick an action. He's doing finest hour. Yeah, plus one to wound, plus one save. Right. And what are you doing with your heroes? I'm going to do heroic recovery, so right. I have to roll less than my bravery on 2d6, which is okay. my deal, which is my bravery 6. Nope. Right. I would have healed, but didn't roll less than the bravery. Anyone else? These two trolls are going to regenerate, because it goes what? off. D3. Auto regenerate? Yeah, it goes off 1d3, and they've taken a wound each. So. so after all that, and all the dry advertisements, no damage caused whatsoever. Yes. It's uh... Trolls are pretty good. The Gloom Spike book is pretty good. I'm learning, though... That trees are pretty shit. Right, let's go to the tree movement phase. Tree Lord Ancient's going to do Mystic Shield himself. Goes off on a five. There you go. He's got plus one save. So he's got two up save now. Okay. Anyone else? Um, no. Is there no one else? No, because everything else is 
Dead, isn't it? Name that movie. Is there no one else? Gladiator. Movement phase. Your last HQ is going for a HQ on a HQ action. Yes. And then these guys have got Michael Jackson moonwalk. Uh, Waypipes. Waypipes. Uh, yeah, close. Pan pipes. Pan pipes. Yeah. Peter Pan. They're Pan's people. And they can teleport with a flash of a teleport homer. Yes. They can be set up somewhere else, nine inches away from any enemy models. And Mikey P really wants a hobnob. So the revenants land on this hobnob here, Yay. which is beautiful because it stops him getting a major victory. It does doesn't it? And you get a hobnob. No, if he gets to eat that one, it's a major victory. Is it? If he gets to eat three anyway. Yeah. So it doesn't matter how many you have. But more victory and I'll get a biscuit. Okay. There is a shooting phase with Treebeard with his doom tendril staff. Yes. Two attacks, taking on fives. They both hit. That's nice. Winning on threes. They both both wound. wound. Minus one rend. So fives. One. Three damage. Three wow. damage. One so was one on dead. one wound. And one more. So that's two more wiped out. Then that was the end of the shooting phase. We charged. We had the Revenant ancient thing. Arch Revenant. Him went into Moon Pig. Yes. And Treebeard has got some monstrous actions stomp. at the start of the fight. He's going to stomp he's this gonna time. Stomp. He's well, not going to make him fight last. No. No, because there's no point really. There's We've only got... two combats. Okay. And I'm going to get to pick the first. It's not making me look Right. I'd so, rather do the, uh, some wounds. Stomp. Um, Stomp. Two, two up. Yeah, yeah, D3. Who stomps? C3. Kills one. Is yep. that two more mortal wounds? Yep. And then we're down to Whoop. four baby space hoppers remaining. And now we fight. At the start of the fight phase, the Revenant picks an aggressive stance. He gets an extra attack and he smashes out with his glaive on... Uh, threes with five attacks. That and was poor. You hit once again. That was really poor. You must try uh, harder. Three up to wound. You yes. do wound. Minus two. Six up. Negative. One damage. Oh, five wounds left. Moonpig takes a wound, but there's more. There are tail pincers. Yeah, it's from the thing on his back, isn't okay. it? So, D3 attacks. Right. One attack. One attack. Obviously. Hitting on a four. Yes. And he misses, okay. obviously. So, that's the end of that combat, and the Space Hoppers of Doom get to fight back. The Boing Gor... The Boing Grop... The, the, the Space Hoppers are fighting Tree boy Beard. Bad bugger. <laughs> right, fours, all... fours and threes. Right, okay. You hit sometimes... And now you only got threes. Plus not ones. Two at one rend. Okay. You've got so plus one to your armor save because you're three ups. Um, He's fine. He's okay. And then some squeaks to attack. And, uh, what? You're not in on this whole fantasy I thing, love are fantasy. You? Old world's ace. Uh, is this death on the right. This is an old world. I don't know. We've played for like two, three hours. If I wasn't up on it, I wouldn't have got you guys here to eat knob. We're chilling. Eat We're having what? knob eat knobs. Knob. I, I'm these words. I'm bad with four K's. Right. Okay. So the space hoppers mm. hit this many times. Are they? These are the guys trying to eat wood. Yes. Yeah. With the okay threes. Right. That's a bit better. And the minus one round. Two, four, six, eight. Who do we appreciate? Michael P. Michael Yay! P. Yeah, it's me. And he needs uh, saves. Threes. And he's, he's dead. dead. He's, he's dead. dead. Does he explode when he dies? And no. does D six more wounds or anything? No. Go back oh. to heresy. So big tree guy falls over. Tree Lord Ancient. I uh, these models are very impressive. And nice you're going to be a Sigma player soon. Games Workshop do make the best models on the planet. And now we get to fight back with Moon Pig. We have five attacks with the Moon Cutter hitting on threes, three hits, yeah, threes, one wound, one wound, uh, five up, two damage. The Revenant has four wounds remaining. Now the Squig opens up its massive fang-filled gob. Yeah, and because I've got Squig Whisperer, it's at one to hit and wound us. The Squig Whisperer? Yes. So Brilliant. threes? Yes. And then twos. There's a rule called the Squig Whisperer. That is right. See, it's the little things like that that interest me. Uh, one rend. Five up. Uh, you oh, make both of the saves. That's three damage each as well, so you saved it. Okay. <laughs> and that is the end of Tree Peoples? Yes. Yeah. Turn three. Just, I think you should have ended on, that's the end what? of Tree People. Do they have a morale? Yes. Because uh, they lost like three guys this turn. Does they that did, mean they yeah. might fail morale? Potentially. Right, while Jerome's looking in the book, you, sir, get yourself a hobnob. Yay! This yeah. means they're going to have to put the kettle on again. Yeah, you are, actually. Yeah. The end of the turn. What? <sighs> the end of the turn. I know, but we were waiting for you to figure out the rule but, over there. Has it got any fluff on it? He doesn't get it yet. What? That's it's, the end of the turn. No, it's not. I get my turn now. Oh. So you're saying you could run back here and stop him eating the hobnob because it's the end of the turn. End of the turn? That was the end of the turn. That was the end of the turn. End of the, the end of the battle round. 
Is it like 40k with back rounds and turns? Yes. Yeah. Checking things. Looting objectives happens at the end of the turn. Hob, knob, gun, gone. We have a battle shock test. They have a bravery of five. Right. Uh -oh. Plus three to this roll. Uh, that's a nine. Oh boy. There's uh, four dead. There's four left. Uh, so nine minus five is four. Quick maths. Does that mean they all disappear? And what happens when they disappear? They bagger off. Does nothing bad happen because they're squigs? No, that's the squig hands. But you've got a oh. moon that you can recycle things from? Yes, that's at the end of the turn, isn't it? Jack in, happens at the end of the player turn, so stuff doesn't have a chance to recycle yet. So we're going to go on to, actually, it is, it is this space hoppers of doom's turn yes. three. No, no, because the tree, yeah. So now we're going to move the goblins in, in, in turn three. Here we are at the start of the Gloom Spite Gits movement phase, and there is a win possibility. These squids, r squigs, squigs, really want the biscuit, and so does Jerome. Talk us through what it is. They've got a rule. So I've got to get within six. Yes. They move D6 plus five inches. Right. And then you can use at the double, which means they run flat six rather than rolling it. Okay. So I'm within 18 inches. Yeah. I've got six inch run, five inch plus, so... Three is eight. So I move 15 inches. 15 inches. I need to be within six. I'm in. Let's measure up. So the squigs move at the double. And in this game of loot and plunder, you get the objective at the end of your turn. So even if that's all you did, you eat the biscuit. Wow, wow, wow. You didn't have to eat it all in one hit oh, every single time. I don't yes, know why you do does. that to yourself. Okay. Yes, he does. And as soon as someone eats the three biscuits, it's a victory. Game ends. Do you get... Uh, so is it a major victory? Do you get anything for getting a biscuit at all? Uh, no. No. Major victory. So it's a major victory for yeah. the Gloom Spike Gits and the Space Hoppers of Doom in this Age of Sigma battle report. I, I thought of a thing. I thought of a thing. You ready? And this is the way... The old world ends. Oh, Do you remember that? Because it, because it, you sing. I, I, yeah, I nailed the lad. So a good one. He did a funny. What happened there with um, your army? I got my pants pulled down. Okay, that's a, a good summary of what happened there. Also, yes. you rolled badly. I like badly. Treebeard. He seemed to be doing quite well. Yeah, the, the big trees are really good, and the medium-sized trees, the Colonel Hunters, are really good as well. Can you take an army of just big trees? Um, Probably not just big trees, but quite a lot of them, yes. Because I like big trees and I cannot lie. Indeed. How did it go for you? I pulled his pants down. Yeah, you did. Uh, our gloom spike gets broken. They are quite strong, yeah. They are quite strong. Yeah, I, I just took a list that doubled down on squigs. They made them better. Double down on squigs and made them better. I um, did a narrative fluffy list. Yeah, of course. I like revenants. They're like ghost no, trees. It, you didn't have enough painted to play a proper list. That is a proper list. That is a proper about? list. A 1500 point proper list right there. What I see in front of me is that AOS is uh, not as perfectly balanced as all things should be, like Warhammer 40k. We don't have any of these balance issues in, in Warhammer 40k at That's all. That's true. And you can see it's also very complicated, whereas 40k is quite simple. Well, you guys were dipping in the rule book as much as possible. Yeah. Uh, but much less than 40k. Yeah, I mean, so we don't, we don't play this game much. No, I mean I've played one game at prior to this with my Sylvan F. Okay, so you've doubled your score count. Indeed, um, a few. And you've played a few. Yeah. Uh, what would you add to your Sylvan F, F army? Well, I've got quite a lot of unpainted stuff at home. Well, I mean, what Ben says is this is what I've got painted for a fifty. Who's point Ben? List. I swapped um, Jerome. Yeah. Um, <laughs> bigger trees. So I've got more of the Kernoff Hunters. I've got a Tree Lord, not ancient, but Tree Lord. Right. Um, so I'd add them in, take out probably some of the ghosty trees. Okay. Uh, yes. I had no idea what was going on most of the time. Don't know what a hero phase is. What is rending? Don't know. Uh, I like the fact that wound spilled over. There was none of this, and it stopped yeah. with this model, and it stopped with that model. Not sure I like the fight, you fight, I fight, you fight. There doesn't seem to be much tactical advantage for charging first. Well, I mean, you can you can sort of plan out your charges a bit better. But yeah, I mean, it just means that an army can't just do all the charges and obliterate everything. Because everything's so combat focused. But, you know, there's hardly any shooting. I suppose so. But, uh, if, I know what you mean. It's a bit jarring. It feels a bit weird. Yeah. But, but 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 getting every bit of your army across the battlefield so you could launch multiple charges at the same time seems to me to be quite a tactic. Yeah. So, but you can't do that. Well, again, it, it, it could be really, really landslidey yeah. if, if you did If I that. 
charged okay. you with everything and then attacked first with everything, you'd have nothing left. But if yeah. you had the charge heavy army, like destruction armies. Okay. Yeah. You'd either have to do it, you go, I go, or you'd have to do it on like some sort of initiative basis, maybe. Now, Don't one of the things I picked up while you guys were playing was you did mumble about AOS version, whatever version we're on Three. now, Three which apparently is a bit more complicated than the earlier versions mm. of AOS. Yeah, we, we cut out quite a lot by playing open play as well. There's no Galician champions. What? There's no battle tactics. Yeah. There's but there no... was definitely no battle tactics today. There's yeah. no tactics whatsoever. You, you yeah. choose um, something once a turn, you have to move somewhere or kill something or do something extra, which is matched play only. Which... It's primaries and secondaries. Why can they make it more complicated? I think if you know the game really well, which we definitely don't, then that extra complication can be quite fun and extra tactics, but... But is that extra complication means... boiled into the core rules or is it a mission by mission thing? Well, the core rules we played with, right. so the matched play rules adds those extra complications. So you don't need to play with the extra complications if you don't want to, you can just play open play and have fun. Yes. Yeah, I mean, it's just like 40k, there's more similarities of 40k than differences. Okay. So in those sort of structural ways, it's very, very similar. Okay. Well, I have to say that after watching you two fine young cannibals play a game of AOS, I am definitely thinking about not getting an AOS army. Yeah. And we do hope you enjoyed that battle report. Happy war game. Uh, love you, bye. bye. Love you, bye.